Shalom, my friend. I hope you have been well. So before we jump in to the Friday stuff, the Dragon's Delight event and everything else that I haven't really gone through for a couple of days, first of all, we should probably go through the weekly schedule, which was uploaded yesterday. So we have the Divine Dungeon from next week, of course, May 18th to the 25th. So that is going to be a chance to get a ton of extra Divine tickets. So anyone that is going, how do we get more tickets? How do we get more tickets, Quacks? This is going to be one of the ways to do it. We've also got a dragon race. We have a boss challenge event. And boss challenge events typically also end up being an event where you can get an insane amount of tickets. So keep that in mind. On top of that, we've got a gem spending event, which some people have been waiting for. A golden opportunity. That will also get us some extra tickets. And a chili redemption is going to be the major event for the game. So that is going to be the castle event, of course, because every time we have one of these, you know, divine events, whether it's the regular version or the chrono version, we get the major castle event that comes along with it, which will be May 22nd. Also, we do have confirmation on the forums that there is going to be an update or some sort of video post regarding this new temple system. You see how we've got the you know, Time Rift Chrono stuff here. This thing here that has this new tower with this new chest thing, apparently we're going to be getting information regarding that. I believe they said on the 18th originally, but possibly on the 22nd now. So keep those dates in mind because we may actually be seeing some possibly major game-changing stuff. Um, especially since there's also a post on the forums with an interview with, I think it's one of the lead designers of Gameloft. Not Gameloft, of DML. Imagine being the lead designer of an entire company, Jesus. Um, but apparently in that he confirmed that they plan on changing some of the... I'm gonna go with stun. They, they plan on changing some of the major core mechanics of the game. Now. This could either be fantastic, or this could be one of the worst things that could ever happen. Um, because we've all experienced it in this game before, I'm sure, where it's like we've had this perfectly fine working part of the game. Like, say the dungeon. The dungeon before was not perfect, not by any stretch of the imagination. However, at least the old dungeon was sort of simple, whereas the new version of the dungeon that they released, the one that isn't even working currently, by the way. It just takes a hell of a lot of time. Yes, we get some really cool resources out of it, but it's just the fact that everything else in the game has become so, so, so grindy sometimes that it is just sometimes completely unenjoyable to play this game, especially when you've been playing for a long time. So I'm curious to see what exactly these game-changing mechanics to the gore, core, not the gore gameplay, that sounds disgusting, the core gameplay is actually going to be. But, you know, moving on from that, like I said, we have the events that are going to be coming next week. We also currently have the foodie gathering event, the farming fanatic, which... When we get another um, just 1.4 mil or so, we're going to get some more tickets. You should always be making sure that whatever of these mini events that you see prop up, you should be taking part because these give a lot of extra tickets. Of course, you should also be doing the Dragon's Delight event stuff if you can because an extra 30 plus 10 plus 5 tickets is actually quite a lot. Most people will not be able to hit that 1,000 milestone mark because it is near impossible without spending money but if anyone does hit it at least you're gonna get 80 80 tickets but you have to think is the gem requirements to get to that point worth the spend i don't know because again in the past the boss challenge events have been a really really good way of getting tickets because essentially what's happened in the past is you go into the boss challenge events and if you gem through the boss challenge events it is actually it was the cheapest method to getting bonus divine tickets not buying any of the bundles not doing anything else it was the cheapest way that if you were going to spend any amount of gems skipping through the boss challenge sections, I guess you could call them rounds even, was the best thing that you could do. 
I don't know if it's going to be the same now. They could have tweaked it. Anything could have happened. We'll have to wait and see. Because, again, we could always go, yes, in the past this was the best thing to do. But they could change that at any point. And they have done that before with events. It's like how we've had two different versions of castle events, for anyone that's unaware. Where we've had a castle event that is just the regular castle event that just, you know, you have to find the key and then you get to progress. or And then there's the other kind where it stays at the same amount of event currency earned every single level that you go up. So it doesn't really matter when you get the key as long as you're logging in for the resets. Those are my favourite kind, but <clears throat> we'll have to wait and see to see what happens. Goodness knows at this point. Also, the hotfix is now out, so you'll see that we have the ability to throw food at our dragon's faces, but we also have the ability to click the feed button, and that only props up a quarter of a level instead of a full level now. Honestly, I don't understand why we couldn't have kept the clicky button as a button that allows you to fully level a dragon by one level and keep the throwy food thing as a quarter because that would make more sense to me, because then instead of us taking away one way of feeding, we keep both. And I mean, if we only had the throwy thing before, obviously we survived this long, so it can't have been so tremendously terrible that it needed to be removed completely. I don't know. Now it just seems like we have two buttons that do the same thing, which I think defeats the purpose of adding a new button, but maybe that's just me. Either way, we also have bundles that keep coming out for Legendary Dragons, where you can buy them, you get some extra gems, and you get 100 tickets. Again, is 100 tickets worth £25? I don't think so. £25 is a lot of moolah to be putting into a game, and you can get a lot more value out of it than 100 tickets, where the tickets that you're using are just RNG as to whether you're going to get anything of value. So normally I would suggest not doing that, but that is up to you. Also, what has been with the quality of the whale marks recently? Has anyone else noticed just how garbage they've been the last, say, like, three weeks or so? Like, Relic of Exploration? Sure, they have they have some use. I'm going to take them anyway. But they're not comparable to, like, breeding tokens, hatching tokens, uh, double egg relics. They're, they're not even comparable. And Dragon Fury Essence in exchange for portal gems? The thing is... Portal gems during castle events are actually really, really important. So if you trade in your portal gems for people that don't have VIP especially, it's actually pretty difficult to fully deplete all of the win battles quests. So I'm not a fan of having that in the whale mart this week either. It just feels like we're getting worse and worse bundles in the whale mart. I'm not sure if that's because we tend to have pretty good ones in the dungeon, but then you have to play the dungeon to get those. I don't know, it's all a little bit messy, shall we say. And, um, don't really like it. I don't really like the direction that we're going in, but it is what it is. So I have actually been logging in to do the resets for this. I don't remember if I've missed a reset for this or not. Um, but as you can see, uh, luck when it comes to items has not been too great because normally I would have just reset the dragon there, but I was like, nah, I've waited four times in a row now. Surely we can't get the same items again, but we have. So I'm going to refresh this. But this is the worst case scenario in Dragon's Delight events where you get a bunch of dragons that only need one more item, but it's the same item twice on one of them at least, and the other one wants another singular item. And if the other one that you're refreshing just never gives you, say, the blue items here like we need, it can just be really, really painful. Because normally I can go like a solid 20 minutes of just playing Dragon's Delight without getting caught out, but as soon as we get to this point here it gets annoying. And it doesn't happen all that often, but you can see that we've got quite a lot of points that we need to spend. And considering I haven't really gone through the Dragon's Delight event yet, at least for this version of it, but it's the exact same as every other version, the bottom line is trashing is generally bad. You want to do it the least amount possible. If you have to, there are certain ways where you can trash that will, on average, give you a higher chance of when you put all the new items in, 
allowing you to continue, but it's still generally not a good idea to be trashing any items because you, you've earned the currency to generate those items. Every time you trash, you're basically just throwing away the points that you've earned. And the thing is with these Dragon's Delight events is, I know, the breeding stuff is still a pain to have to deal with. And in general, it is just the same event over and over and over again. And whatever we're doing here is just going to be the same as what we're doing during the castle event. So it's difficult to find any incentive. Especially when you can get thrown into certain brackets that you know definitely have people that are spending. I don't think mine is too bad this time around. But you have to be aware of the fact that a lot of the times in Dragon's Delight events, if you're going to go for the leaderboard prize, most of the time people are just going to take over right in the last second. So I generally try and tell people not to get their hopes up too much. Sometimes it's worth getting between position 4 and 7 just for the extra gems. That might be handy and useful. But if you've wanted any tips for this Dragon's Delight event, it is literally exactly the same as every other Dragon's Delight event ever. So whatever I could tell you about this time around in terms of tips would be exactly the same as every other time. Although one funny thing about the Dragon's Delight event at the moment is the fact that if you click the help button so there's always some sort of help button in game that you can click I just never click them because I've never needed to but if you click them it actually says you have the chance of getting bonus points when you complete a dragon you know how we've had versions of the dragon's delight event in the past where it goes yeah if you um, give this dragon an item you have a chance of generating 10 points instead of just one well that is still in the in the info slash help section and it says wow you've got a chance of getting these bonus points it's like no you don't where is our hope if the help section in game isn't even correct <laughs> ah. i don't know with the dragon's delight events as well i think just adding more and more rng on top of more rng is just it's the reason why this game gets more and more painful by the day to play. Every time they add a new event, it's a new event that has RNG mechanics that relies on RNG mechanics. It's also reliant on another form of RNG. And we see that with the ancient events where it's you have to roll the dice to go on the um, on the actual playing field. And that is completely RNG based. I get that some people like board games and things like that. But the sheer amount of RNG on that is ridiculous. And the fact that that is directly tied into loot boxes, which are just RNG as well. Again, it's RNG relying on RNG. Same with the dungeon. If you want the dungeon dragon, it's just pure luck as to whether you're going to get the quest that you want. And then you open the chest. Are you going to get the dragon? Probably not most of the time. So um, that's my major gripe with DML. So regardless of what core fundamental changes they make to the core gameplay of the GML, yes, GML. I don't think it changes the fact that there's just a lot of decisions that have been made over the years with the direction of this game that just make it less and less. It was never skillful to begin with, but it's become even less skillful over the years, which, I don't know. You know, a lot of you have probably heard me moan before that I just want one thing, one section of the game that is any sort of skill. All it can be is, can you, I don't know, draw a line quickly, I don't care what it is, just something that entices my brain even slightly, because sometimes I feel like I play this game and I just feel like a zombie, like, Bleh. you know, it's like there is nothing that even remotely makes me think for a second. Most of the time when I play this game, I'm genuinely looking at my other monitor because I know where I have to hold the, the mouse just to click. I don't have to think. I genuinely do not think when I play this game. I guess that's sort of the point though, it's if you're going for like a chill game. But there are times where I just want to have something even slightly more enticing than just some brain dead play session. There's nothing in this game for me. Insane for a lot. I just want one thing. Just one. 
I guess that's training, but training is painful, and plus when you have a VIP on, you don't actually have to, you know, shoot the Viking dolls. So, I don't know, I just want some sort of event that for once is just sort of different and not the same thing copy and pasted for the five millionth time but still somehow has um major game breaking bugs i don't know how that's possible to have an event that's been out 20 times but it's buggier than the first time it was implemented but that's just me anyway if you want any more tips with the dragon's delight event you know feel free to join the discord server i'm sure people will help you out there in real time as well but the bottom line is, with Dragon's Delight events, log in, fully deplete the pools every six hours, make sure that you're refreshing dragons instead of trashing wherever you can, and worst case scenario, you don't spend all of them and then you just have to spend all of your points at the end of the event, but that's really bad. You should be aiming to fully deplete the amount of orbs that you have, before it gets to like an hour before the end of the event and then you just have to trash 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 I know it could be difficult But there are little mini techniques that you can use to sort of Gauge whether it's a better idea to be trashing a couple of items that you have left or not but anyway I Hope that you have a fun time and uh, be looking out for the new news that's coming in because it could be completely game-changing, or it could be absolutely useless. We'll see. But for now, I appreciate you being here. Good luck, and until next time, I hope to see you then.